Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, and welcome to the video for what is the fine collision UV node. So this is the fine collision UV node, and as you can see, it takes in a hit struct and a channel, and then it gives us the UV based on what we hit. So if we were to run this example. I can aim at this box here, and I'm going to fire in the top left corner. We're going to see in the top left, it's roughly 0, 0. And the bottom right, if I actually hit it, is going to give us back roughly 1, 1. And that's our UV mapping that we've got set up for this box itself. Now, of course, if I shoot other things, like this character, you're going to see, well, not quite what we expect. Shoot this one, again, not quite what we expect. We shoot the ground here, you actually see we have like 0 0.04 and 0 0.8 on this side. We go over here, we shoot the opposite corner, and now we have 9 and 9. So it's a little bit confusing, and let's see how we actually use it. Ignore the areas, because I was shooting stuff for another example I'll show you in a second. The Fine Collision UV node takes in our hit result structure. It takes it in directly, usually from like a line trace, determining what we hit, and then we feed in a UV channel. Now that UV channel is the channel we want to check the actual UV results from. The output is going to be a vector 2D, the X and Y UV values, and then a return value basically indicating, well, did we hit something or not? Now there's something to note. If we read the tooltip, if it would cooperate, we need to turn on something in your physics settings in order for this to actually work. So the support UV from hit results needs to be enabled. So we'll go into our... I hope it's editor. I can't remember if it's editor or the other one. So let's find out. Hit result. Nope, it's not going to be the editor. So we'll go into the project settings. And we'll do hit result. And you see it right here. Under engine physics, or if we go down here to engine physics, support UV from hit results. You turn this on and it's going to give you access to getting back our results. If you don't do that, you're not going to be able to use this node. Now, you were wondering why I had some weird numbers. Well, if your art is set up properly, depending on the art itself, you're going to have to work around it. In this case, my squares here, it just has a simple UV mapping of 0, 0 in one corner to 1, 1 in another corner down here, and it maps that around all four sides. My floor, however, if we were to look at our floor and look at it, well, UV of channel 0, okay, that's weird. No, it's not weird. It's just not very set up right. If we were to expand our UV, in the bottom left, we're going to have like our 0, 0 range. Right here, we have our 1 run range. And you notice it keeps going up. That's why that far corner is actually 9 wide. It's not a very usable thing for us. We look at UV channel 1. Now you see a much better channel set up for our lighting. But you can actually see our tops and bottoms only encompass about half of our 0 to 1 range, and our sides encompass a different set. And if we were to actually go back into our node, if we can find it here, let's set this to channel 1 this time. We're going to go ahead and play. We're going to shoot at our ground again, and we're going to get back a result of about what we had before, 0.5 and 0.5. We shoot at the other side. We're going to get back a result of 0, 0. And if we were to angle over here where we can actually shoot the edge, properly, you'll notice our results are roughly 0.9 and 0.9. It's giving us the results that we would expect based on this UV mapping here. 0, 0.5, 1, and that's why we're getting a 0 to 0.5 range when we use UV map 1. So that is what the UV channel is for. Now you might be wondering what you could use this for. Well, it's useful because you could pass this information along to a material, which I have here, and then do stuff with it. So if we were to open up my material, I'm basically taking this target and I'm doing some math. It works. It's ugly, but it works. Passing in the UV value based on that node that we had and then adjusting where our actual texture is displayed on the image. So if we need to go back into here, we need to make sure we're back to channel 0 because I only have one channel or channel 0 on my item. We'll hit play. And then we'll look at this cube here. The middle is going to be the 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. And as you can see, my line traces, as they hit different parts, it's readjusting this portion of our image. Now it's wrapping because I have it set up to wrap, but you get the point. Based on where we're hitting on this item, we're taking those UV results, passing that on to a material, and then adjusting the material. 
So this could be useful for things like splatter effects or things where you want to adjust an effect based on the UV results on a collision. And you can see that right here. So that's it. That is our find collision UV node. Takes in a hit result. Takes in a channel that we want to check on that hit result. Outputs a vector 2D of the points that we hit and a Boolean value if we actually hit something. And keep in mind, you need to go into your project settings and enable the support UV from hit results to actually have this work in your project.